Hello everyone. I'm going to demonstrate Roberto Viola's QZ Zwift app running on iOS. Uh, my setup is um, running QZ, the app, on an iPad, iOS 15.2, and Zwift will be running on a PC uh, on Windows 11. Launching the QZ app through Test Flight, and you can see it immediately starts up in a paused mode. So it's activated the My Run treadmill in standby. Now I'm launching Zwift on my PC, waiting for Zwift to boot up. So we come to the bike pairing screen and we pair the QZ app as a bike. So we want to make sure that power source is paired to QZ and we want to make sure that controllable is paired to QZ. There we go, and now I pair the cadence uh, to QZ. Click OK, and now I'm going to enter the ride. And I previously set up a meetup run, so um, that will show up in the background. So the meetup now uh, appears, and uh, Zwift allows me to enter the meetup that I previously created. Creating a meetup is a requirement in order for Swift to provide uh, controllable features for auto inclination, which is one of the main QZ features I'm demonstrating here, is the fact that Swift will um, control the treadmill for inclination. So we're waiting on the meetup here. Uh, you notice that uh, the treadmill is still in standby by looking at the QZ app. The pause start button is blinking red. Um, the avatar is not moving. It's in a holding pattern. So now I'm going to go check to see that um, QZ is paired in running mode. So I'll have to enter the menu screen on Zwift and then go to the pairing screen and uh, pair up QZ app uh, uh, in a running mode. You can pause the run using the QZ app and then resume the run using the QZ app uh, and that uh, everything works just fine. So I paused the, uh, the game using the QZ app. Now I've restarted it. You can see that up in the upper right hand corner now, Swift is showing a gradient of 2%. And um, the MyRun is following that at 2.4%.
And there's the final pause. And I'm stopping the game. And you can see the QZ app goes to the graph page. The avatar stops. The My Run goes into a um, standby mode. And now I can go in game on Zwift and um, uh, quit the meetup and uh, close out the game if I choose to or the run. So there you have it. Everything works great. Thanks uh, greatly to all of Roberto's work on this. It's going to be fun having um, auto inclination working and uh, also the um, start pause feature is now fully functional. Thanks for watching. Well, I hope this video was informative and um, helps uh, those of you who want to use Roberto's QZ app on Zwift using iOS. I think it's working great for the auto inclination uh, function as well as the uh, start pause feature which I view as kind of a safety feature. Um, it, this app is under development. Roberto is a hardworking guy and um, working hard to uh, make improvements on his apps all the time. So I will post links um, below to uh, point you toward Roberto's work and where you can find more information regarding his apps. Uh, there's also a wiki at GitHub that's been created to uh, provide sort of step-by-step -step instructions on how to utilize the app. So I'll, uh, I'll include those links below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.